So here's the uh, air disconnect switch handle, this ABB disruptor disconnect switch handle. The way the cams work is there's a notch on this side, two notches, two discs, and the disc over here, the notches are covered. So if there was a lock placed in the disconnect handle up here on top, Kirky interlock up here on top, the lock cylinder extends through this hole and is covered. You can see here the lock cannot be extended. If down here there's a lock, it gets extended and goes into the inside disc. Okay, so the, the, the lock cylinder extends and the key can be released. In the other position, you can see the cams rotate together. And in the bottom position, the cams are covered. And in this case, the other disc receives the lock on the top. So if you receive a disconnect switch handle, it may be that the, the uh, cover that comes with the disconnect handle has, has uh, come off or was lost or something. In that case, you could cover it in a field to prevent this problem. The other possibility is that the disc is rotated wrong and you can take the disconnect switch handle apart by removing this collar pin and slipping the handle out and then rotating the disc to, to get it right. But this is the, the proper position for these two disc handles. Okay, so in one position, one disc receives the lock cylinder, and in the other position, the other receives the lock cylinder.